Now it's time for my favorite meerkat and warthog, Timon and Pumbaa. Find out why. Find out why! No, I've never wondered, but I have a feeling you need to tell me. If I help you find your answer, can I resume my mumbo? Absolutely, Timon. Let's get a closer look. <laughs> hey, look at all these holes. You should get your money back. Wait, 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 Timon. I think these holes are supposed to be here. When you put a CD in the player, it starts spinning real fast. Then a laser shines onto it. Whoa! Hey, watch it! Whenever the laser hits the flat part of the disc, the beam is reflected back to a photo detector. A what? A doohickey that can sense light. Why didn't you say so? But when the laser hits the holes, the light is not reflected back, so the detector doesn't detect it. Yeah, yeah. What's this got to do with music? It's binary code, Timon. The language of the digital age. Oh. Every time the laser beam is reflected back to the photo detector, it registers as a one. Took the words right out of my mouth. And the pitch register as a zero. Just one little question. What has this got to do with music? These combinations are interpreted as information. Who cares about information? I want music. Let's get jiggy with it. The information can be music. Ooh, nice. Ever wonder? Yo, yo, yo. Find out why. Find Out Why, sponsored by the National Science Foundation, www.findoutwhy.org.